one of the great things about our industry is that there are still a lot of different models for success. And that uh, and we have firms of all different sizes and different styles achieving great, great success. Uh, the global law firm model is not the path that we have chosen. What, what's more important than having our own office in each region is knowing the best lawyer for the job in each region. If our venture capital practice needs a venture or tech lawyer in London, we know exactly who to call. At the same time, if our hedge fund practice needs somebody in Cologne, Germany, we know exactly who to call. We have not considered a merger with another firm. Uh, we certainly would consider picking up you know, practice groups or a smaller firm and, and bringing them into, into our firm. But uh, you know, whenever we talk about it among our partners, there's very little enthusiasm for that merger. The complexity that comes with size and comes with multiple offices seems to outweigh what most of my partners believe are the advantages of practicing in our firm. Our competition is varied and if you talk to different practice areas they will give you a different list of competitors but by and large the, com the competitors that we see in the marketplace all the time of firms who are honestly much larger than we are. All of our clients use lots of different lawyers and lots of different law firms, so they, they are definitely educated consumers. I'm not really a student of why law firms fail, and I try to avoid that topic <laughs> whenever I can, uh, but I do believe that it's all about trust and relationships. If you don't take the time and, uh, and make the effort to really make sure you are building relationships among your partners, and in fact among all your people, you are ultimately gonna fail because every one of your lawyers has, uh, has the option of going to another law firm every day of the week. Billing rights matter, our, our profit model matters, or our compensation model matters, but none of those things matter as much as trust in looking at the long-term viability of any particular law firm. The fluidity of this market and the ease at which in an industry where you know, we can't enforce non-compete agreements, right? Um, the, the, uh, those elements of our market make us have to be better. My personal philosophy is that the more transparent you can be and the more you can bring in your partners and your associates and in, in fact your entire staff into the financial workings of the firm, the better off you're gonna be. And I think the, the fundamental flaw in a number of the firm failures, not just Dewey, is that you didn't see people really being brought in and, uh, and, and, uh, and building trust in leadership through transparency. Our compensation system is a meritocracy based on contributions to the firm. Um, we look at compensation each year for all of our partners and uh, our compensation committee really tries to divide up the pie based on relative contributions to the pie. We certainly do have a significant spread among our partners uh, and for us that's part of our philosophy of the merit meritocratic atmosphere of the firm and that uh, you know we, we do measure contributions to the partnership year after year and it can you know you can have a widely dispersed you know, result.